Fox here, big ESC, 60 amps, 20 by 20. How long have you been flying this? Got this ESC on multiple of quads, and uh, I broke one, but I physically broke it. It was like yeah. bent this ESC. Oh, you actually broke yeah, it. So, yeah, so and that's the only ESC actually that well, went bad off on, on this quad. Wow, so I actually like tough. it. John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Fox here Reaper. This is the 60 amp 20 by 20 ESC and man, this thing is powerful and it goes perfectly with the new Foxeer F722 V2 flight controller right here. Now, this is the latest hot stack on the market that is perfect for racing or freestyling. And I'm gonna tell you why this thing is so exciting. First of all, this thing is really, if you look at it, it's basically a 30 by 30 footprint, but it has 20 by 20 mounting holes. That means that you can get full size power and reliability. This thing is rated up for 60 amps or 100 amp burst. That's right, you can run anything that you can throw on this thing easily and because it's 20 by 20 mounting you can mount it up to this very small and lightweight f7 flight controller to get a, a nice manageable weight on your stack but not give up any of that power as we're all kind of leaving that 30 by 30 larger size footprint it's really nice to have these bridge products that don't make you give up any reliability and power but still give you that nice lightweight and footprint the other thing that i really really like about this stack is that it comes from the factory fully conformal coated and this is actually conformal coated esc <laughs> from the factory oh yeah this is very that. good yeah you might view that this is a limon approved yeah because it's not also conformal coated they also secure the plug on esc the with a little black uh, glue so the plug is holding better, you know, it's not that... So the monofruit? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I like it, I like it. Those of us racers and freestylers that really push our stuff to the limits, spending a little bit of time conformal coating your gear will really prolong the life of your electronics, making sure that no moisture, no water, no dust and debris that can short out these micro components on these boards uh, can have that and having that step done for you is just like a dream. You know, the material data safety sheet on that conformal coating is really like a nightmare. Now, due to the chip shortage, the prices of all the components are going up. This prior to chip shortage probably would have been a premium stack. It probably would have been $90. But with today's prices, you may be paying $120. $130 or more. So if you're already gonna be paying over $100, you might as well spend an extra 10 or 15 bucks to get the highest rated equipment possible. You're gonna actually end up saving money in the long run if you invest in the top pro tier of electronics. This has a lot of headroom so that you can go with big motors, you can go with fast motors, you can push it on 6S to the limit and not have to worry about this sparking up. Don't go and try to save, you know, 20 or 30 bucks uh, and get something that's a mid-range if you're really going to be pushing it, if you're really going to be crashing, if you're really going to be carrying a full-size GoPro on there and risk torching up that entire stack go with something with an immense amount of power on board and you should be safe and it'll end up cheaper in the long run i'll have links to all this stuff in the description below yeah yeah i actually like it i don't like that on this esc it's only 32.8 blhelly s officially but you can go to github blhelly 32 and you can download 32.7 and downgrade it because currently 32.8 it's like more noisy um, they have some bug, I hope they'll fix it, I don't know, 32.9, but I'm downgrading to 32.7. I don't use variable RPM, so, but I like it, this EXE is good. Approved. Yeah, approved. What do you think in the comments, guys? What stack are you running? Uh, if I had to choose between this, uh, people are probably going to ask this or the Diatone Race. I'd actually use them both comfortably the same. I feel like they're both ultra top tier. 
um, stock is getting a little bit problematic in trying to get. So these two would end up being my recommendations for this season, whether you're doing freestyle or racing. They're both going to be slightly heavier than your average 20 by 20 stack, but they're also both going to give you a little bit more security and I think save you money in the long run. Thanks, guys. Let's go fly. Let's go fly. Omar, let's go fly. Omar, let's go fly. Oh,